Hi everyone, this is a quick video that shows an easy way to diagnose assembly constraints and connection problems in SimSolid. Okay, one uh, very common uh, problem with uh, assemblies uh, in general is trying to understand if there's any uh, movement that's possible, like a mechanism or something like that. Make sure your model is properly constrained. So always an exercise with static uh, linear or nonlinear analysis is to remove any rigid body motion from the model. So what is rigid body motion? Well, rigid body motion is simply any translation or rotation of the body does not cause that does not cause any uh, deformation. So you know we have to get that out before we. Uh, in most cases, uh, if you do inertial relief, that's an, uh, uh, an exception, but we won't go through that today. Um, and remember, these rigid motions are in general for, uh, for, for bodies are six motions, three that are translational, X and Y and Z directions, and three rotations around those axes. Also, as I mentioned, that these rigid motions, and this is the more subtle ones, they can come from movement between parts. So although the assembly is connected to ground ad adequately, the... Um, you can still have this mechanism that are sometimes very difficult to visualize. And I think that's where uh, this new uh, rigid body motion uh, capability that SimSolid has helps. Okay, so how do I diagnose it? Well, the, the easiest way is just run your static analysis and see if it, see if it fails. Um, while that's possible, uh, maybe a little bit better idea is to first run a modal analysis, either constrained or free-free, and kind of see if that shows any uh, any mechanisms. But the, the easiest way in SimSolid is just run this new SimSolid uh, check rigid motions tool. Uh, the way you get it is you just pick the simple check button right on the uh, structural analysis uh, toolbar and it'll do a very quick analysis and um, tell you if you have any uh, rigid motions in your body. Okay, let's take a look at how this check rigid motions tool works. Let's first take a very simple model and let's insufficiently constrain it. So I'm going to take this model and I'm just going to pick a single vertex. So this is, I'll just pick that point right there. Uh, maybe I'll add a load here, but we're not going to use that. Um, and I could try to analyze this. But before I do, let's do the check rigid motions right here. If I pick that, it'll look at the model and it says it's not sufficiently constrained. You have three rigid motions found. Do you want to see those motions? You say yes. And it'll give you the three motions it found here and then the standard uh, legend for doing, you know, deformation animation. So what I can do is I can look at the deform shape and I can animate it. So you can see that I'm only picking that single point and I'm rotating about that point there. That's my first uh, rigid motion found. If I pick here, I have a second and pick here, I have a third. Okay, uh, let's try something a little bit different. Let's get out of there. Uh, let's go back and delete that immovable. But this time let's add a hinge and let's just pick a hinge here. And if just for kicks, let's pick a hinge there. And now let's check that. That's also not uh, sufficiently constrained, but it only has one rigid motion. So if I pick there, it'll say, uh, here's my deformed shape. And you can see that it's pivoting about those hinges. Okay, so if I really want to get this so it doesn't, uh, if it doesn't have any uh, rigid body motions, what maybe I can do let's just go back here and maybe add a sliding uh, surface in the back and now we can run it one third time one more time and this says now you know everything's everything's fine it's sufficiently constrained we're good to go and I can just go back and run my analysis and there we go so maybe look at the display shapes and uh, or the deformations, uh, etc. Okay, here's one more example. This is a, a very small assembly, but we can look at how 
mechanisms get developed and how you eliminate them. So uh, first, let's look at, uh, I have um, uh, one, two, three parts. I have uh, uh, pins at these two places here, and it's all bonded. So uh, there's my model. There's a close-up of my connections. So you can see what I have there. And I just, I run it the first time, everything bonded, and I get, you know, displacements uh, as you'd expect, you know, like that. Nice bonded pins at the end. Um, and, you know, stresses like that. So let's look at it uh, one more time, but let's go back in my second structural analysis here. I've made a few changes. So first, I've uh, released these bonded connections. So I only have bonded uh, to hold the pen in place, but it's sliding in there. So we have a mechanism we put in there. And also, I've removed one of the hinges. So I only have a hinge at this end. So let's go and try this one and look at our check rigid motions uh, tool and see what it comes up with. Okay, it says... We're not sufficiently constrained. Two rigid body motions found. It'll give us the opportunity to look at them. Again, just animate them. You can see one, we just have this falling here. It's just uh, the whole thing is as, as you'd expect. But the, the second one is the mechanism that you see because uh, you know we have the sliding in that, in that joint. So it's very easy to see both of those. Um, maybe just to play around a little bit let's go back and add that hinge back i can do that just pick here and do that and uh let's go and check the uh, rigid motions again now you see where i've added it back i only have one rigid motion and again i can visualize that very quickly it's the rigid motion in the uh in the uh in the joint so there you go a very quick and easy way to uh look at your model and get rid of all any mechanism or origin motion. Okay, that's all I got. Thanks for watching.